My name is Stephen Paul Taylor. I'm from Prince George, BC, Canada, the world. And I make music. I entertain millions of unsuspecting human beings. I would tinker around with keyboards and tinker around with the piano when I was at my grandparents' house. And when I was 11, I picked up the trombone until I misplaced it. I think I lost it if I knew or something. So I don't have it anymore. The whole time I was in art school, I was craving to do a pop album. Like, I just really, really wanted to do a pop album. Well, I met Sandy in Montreal, and we started making music together. We won $20,000 as part of a Bro Jake show. And then we spent a lot of our time together, playing together, just touring. We did, like, two massive tours. We did, like, 16 countries. And... Yeah, she's testing, testing me again. Said she might come watch me play last Sunday. She was shopping, looking, and I know she's always thinking of me, even if she didn't show up. I guess she slept in. When Trike split up, I just kept doing Trike songs, and then I just started incorporating my own songs. And I just developed it. I just like kept working it, and I developed the whole costume change concept. You know, you got to keep things interesting. So, why not? <laughs> Flashy costume, that way people are like, Oh, I'm kind of bored of this song, what's going on? And then five minutes later, Oh look, he's changing his costume, whoa, crazy! Now I wonder what song he's gonna play. And then it's just, you know, shakes things up a bit. No way! You guys know, I just got invited to be on a German TV station, what the fuck? Oh my god. I invite you for a small talk and two performances in our studio on thur Thursday? Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, biatch! Uh, bonjour, uh, hello, is this Maurice? We're going to plan um, uh, a few musicians live in the studio here, and so we thought about you, if it's possible, to uh, performances and a small talk during the show around uh, 3 o'clock. What, is there any songs in particular, or...? That's up to you, actually. We just thought about two performances and a small promotion talk. Excellent. Yes, excellent. Becoming an internet meme, it opened up a lot of doors for me. I mean, a lot of opportunities and a lot of like, um, you know, record companies and publishing companies contacting me and, and strangers contacting me, fans, you know, Russian girls wanting me to hang out with them. It's been nice having like more of a fan base. Because all this has happened, I, I kind of feel like I can't just like, or I don't want to just make stuff and put it online or make stuff and put it out there. Like I'd rather, you know, make songs, keep them to myself, work on them, you know, marinate them a bit. You gotta make people hungry and people have to like wait for, for stuff, but, you know. You want them to, to crave something like, oh, when's this gonna come out, when's that gonna come out, whatever. I mean, I write songs a lot of times just from the gut, you know, like, intuitively. I'm definitely concerned with a lot of stuff that's going on right now, but it's, but I don't know how much of that I want to be present in my work and how much to keep out of it. Gross lead muss ich jetzt tragen. I think an artist has some kind of responsibility, even if it's just making songs that are hilarious or that are, well, that makes me feel like super happy, ridiculous, and I feel like standing on my head. Cool, great, you succeeded with something, you know? So I have this EP coming up. Single in 17. Thinking about the things that I really shouldn't think about, feeling myself, feeling a lot of self doubt, and I wanna be a big boy, I wanna grow up, face my fears, I don't wanna throw up. If I could be bionic so I could save a kitten from a tree or something, then yeah, I would do that. Then I'd be normal again. <laughs>